Well, it's nice to be back with you. You know, the Wisconsin Holstein Association is holding their state convention in Manitowoc later this month, and one of the co-chairs happens to be Mitch Kappelman. He's on hand to share some of the details. And first of all, Mitch, I want to thank you for being with us. And maybe just open up, where does your passion for the black and whites come from? Well, I grew up on my family's 400-cow Holstein dairy farm. I'm the fifth generation. Impressive. Thank you. Um, so working with the cows every day, well, watching the miracle of life and, and working with the cows, it's easy to fall in love. And those ladies, they're kind of special. I mean, you, you kind of like the black and white. Certainly they're very productive. Yeah, we, uh, we have a couple breeds at home, um, yeah. but the, the Holsteins know how to work <laughs> and uh, they um, always make me happy working well, with them. I know that you and other producers are happy to be hosting this big convention coming up uh, in Manitowoc County. Can you share, obviously, locations, times, and some of the details of this year's show? Yep, it's hosted um, the 22nd through the 24th of February okay. at the Holiday Inn, uh, just on the south right side of, of Manitowoc, right off of I-43, um, starting Friday uh, morning and wrapping up Sunday morning. Okay, so again, it should be a great conference. We'd like you to attend it. So in your opinion, because, you know, people are busy even this time of year, why should they take a day or so, do you think, to come to the convention? It's a great way to kind of clear your head to get off the farm, but also a great way to meet new people, to learn new things, and to bring things back to your home farm. What about on the agenda? What are some of the things you can highlight? Uh, some of the biggest things are the, the farm tour. Uh, it's Holschbox Clover Edge oh, Dairy Farm. Yeah. They have eight um, robotic milking mm -hmm. units. Um, and also the new Farm Wisconsin Discovery Center is one of the tours. That's a great place to go. Yeah, yeah it's, they've done a fantastic job there. Now, do you have business sessions during this time as well? There are. There are some meetings, mm -hmm. um, some luncheons with awards, um, recognitions. Um, but it's a great way to make new connections and, and yeah, meet new people. That's, that's an excellent point. I mean, there's socialization, but there's also networking going on. Right. Absolutely. You can never have too many ties in the dairy industry. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the registered breed. I mean, the push really is on milk, but they play an important role. So how would you describe the status? Has it become more of just of a niche market or is it something more? No, I think it's still a lot more than that. Um, you see people that still want registered cattle, that ask for it, that, that only want that. They don't want something that's not registered. Yeah. So there's definitely a premium still on it, and, and you, we see that, I see that in the market. And I just want to remind folks that uh, coming up in June, we're going to have the National Convention being held in Appleton, so that'll be a big event, and we'll talk more about that as we closer to that event. But again, just to remind people about your event, because we're coming close to that deadline, uh, is there a website they can go to, and how do they register? Yep, they could register online at um, wisholsteins.com, W-I-S-H-O-L-S-T-E-I-N-S. -S. You want the spelling, but nice. <laughs> very good. Um, but registrations are due soon, so we need those in the next couple of days. Okay, so just remind people, next week, when's it going to be held and where is it going to be held? Uh, Friday through Sunday, the 22nd through the 24th at the Holiday Inn in Manitowoc. All right, well, thank you very much thank for being you. here. Continue success to you, your fine family. And again, if you want to learn more about an outstanding breed, make sure you do attend that big, big event. Well, coming up, Wisconsin has a new leader at the Department of Agriculture. We'll find out his vision for our department and how the state of agriculture is doing here in Wisconsin.